We're gonna make a documentary and it's gonna take months for us to do this. If you've seen Wholesome Simon, something like that, okay? Yeah, like, like inspired by mm -hmm. and Wholesome Simon and I think... Because he's um, Asian too. How's it going everyone? As I'm making my lunch here, it's going to be telling you guys about the day today. It's not the most eventful, but it is going to be eventful nonetheless. Uh, today we got work, and then after that, we're heading back to the boxing gym. Yes sir, yes sir, yes. It's finally time, am I? Oh, I got it. We're returning, man. It's been a month. As you guys saw yesterday, I did a little bit of sparring with Chris. And honestly, since I gave you guys like highlights of me and you know, of course, Christian, you know, doing his thing as well, because he's pretty much my trainer, but as you guys probably saw, well, no, actually, because the last time I did a spar, I didn't really show you guys footage, but on the first spar, because this is technically my full, like, second full spar, I guess, because all my other spars have been, like, just body, body spars or whatever, so this is my second technical spar, but I think from the last one, I think I did much better. I actually moved my head more, did a lot more rolling. I should do a lot more slipping, but we'll get there one day, we'll get there one day. I don't know if you guys caught it as well, but um, we were talking about our headgears, like, it was wonky. <laughs> so right here, it like squeezes your head. You see that? This is an extra large, so it squeezes right here, but like right here, it's so loose. So if you do like a quick little uppercut right there, it's game over. That kind of messed up our vision a little bit. Next time me and Chris Parr, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna wear headgear. I'm just gonna line up a little bit, you know what I mean? To be honest, I'm really glad that I'm able to go to the boxing gym, even though, you know, your boy slightly broke. I'll just bargain with my coach and be like, hey, can I pay on Friday? <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna do my best to stop like drinking soda. I got these. This is like a clear American water. It's sparkling water with a little bit of flavoring, and that one was tangerine mango, but I digress. You know, I'd hate to kind of talk about it. Well, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna talk about how I'm feeling and stuff. Just kind of part of transparency, you know what I mean? You know when like life just doesn't like go your way, and it's like, what happened, man? Like, I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys. Like, it's just kind of wild how things are just like, just like that. So with that being said, I do have a lot of uh, energy to kind of release and a lot of steam to release. Whatever. Um, just it's the way the cookie crumbles, you know what I mean? Delicious longanisa. Big old thing of longanisa, you feel me? Alright, so Ode to the Mets is one of the best songs that I've ever heard this year, and it's by The Strokes. Apparently, according to accor according to Fab, Big Fab, what Ode to the Mets means is like, um, it, it's a song about um, loving something unconditionally and loving it non-stop only for it to disappoint you, like, every single time. Julian wrote this, if I'm correct, and Fab's like, let's title it Ode to the Mets. Because uh, uh, he's a big supporter of the Mets and it just keeps disappointing him. I, this is one of the best songs I've heard of this year and it's it's amazing. The meaning kind of relates to me as well. It's, it's beautiful. Hope that you read it. Think that you should. Sizes you up. Plans is attack. Mm -hmm. Drums please, Fab. Now I got it all. I got it all. You gotta do something special for me Then I'll feel fine Yeah, I'm under his thumb I'm on his back I will not show my teeth too quick I needed you there I needed you there But I didn't know I didn't know uh, I have like a my voice right now. Nice. Oh, friends long forgotten They always left is us So pardon the silence That you're hearing It's turning Into a deafening Tamis. 
ngunit sa ating mga mata Ito'y kalabisan lamang O bakit kay sakit pa rin ang paglayo Wala ka man ngayon sa aking piling Nasasagtal man ang puso't damdami Hayaan natin puso't magpasya Magpapasya Muling muli sa'yo na aaminin Ika'y mahal pa rin At kung sakali na Oh man, I'll try it later I just woke up so voice isn't as warmed up so I can't hit it, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next part of this video, I wanted to talk about a controversy. I guess it's a controversy that I should talk about because a few people have had a couple problems with uh, one of my videos, specifically the one with karaoke bar with arcade, that specific video, because of two things. One being, I was making fun of a comment, and two, uh, I made fun of autistic people. Let's talk about the first part. A few people were upset with, like I said, the karaoke bar with an arcade video. Talking about how I made fun of this person. I made fun of, like I made fun of them, I guess. Here's exactly what they're talking about. Did I tell you about that craziest comment that I got in my one of my videos? You seriously have an awesome bot. I'm seeing an OF in your future, which means only fans. Of course. Paulo pumps you up. <laughs> <laughs> Winking tongue out emoji, which looks oh. really cute. LOL! Food for thought. Love your voice also. <laughs> Very deep. I find you really like that. Congrats on the contract. <laughs> you really do have a great physique and look. A smiley face. Now that's the context. Now let's talk about it a little bit further. This comment, I don't, I forgot where it came from, but uh, this is a comment just very recently. And this person was talking about how, um, you know, you have an awesome body. You have this and all that kind of stuff. I'm seeing an OnlyFans in your future, quote unquote, with the title. I guess I'm assuming this is a title that they're suggesting. Quote unquote, Paulo pumps you up. Ha ha ha, just a thought. All right, now <laughs> let me get this straight. I'm not bothered by it. I think it's kind of funny. And I think it is something that you can laugh about. But with that being said, the people that commented in my video talking about, you know, I'm making fun of this person, I'm making fun, you know, one of the comments was saying, you're making fun of your fans. You're making fun of the, uh, this, I think this is how they put it. You're making fun of people who admire you, the people who view you, uh, your viewers and your fans or whatever. Um, <laughs> I, no, <laughs> no, what? Let's get this straight here. I am not making fun of the people who, admire me which by the way little side note please don't admire me let's make sure that you guys like my videos you guys like the content that i put out you guys whatever like personality funny whatever who cares that's just me just <laughs> piping myself up but what i'm making fun of is this specific comment and i think i also brought up another comment and by the way don't harass this person if you find the exact comment that i'm talking about please don't harass a person all right quote unquote you seriously have an awesome bod Alone, that sounds cool because yes, I, you know, I, because yes, I do have an awesome butt. I'm flexing in front of the camera. If you guys think that I have a great, like, physique or whatever, thank you. Like, if you don't, it's all good. That alone, you know, I appreciate that. If that was the only thing that this person commented is, you, have, you seriously have an awesome bod? Absolutely. That's great. The only thing that I had with this is that, the ne is the next part. I'm seeing an OF in your future. Only fans for the people that are too innocent. With the quote-unquote Paulo pumps you up. LOL, just food for thought. Winky face emoji too. Can you see how that's really weird? And what I did with um, having Serena read it for me and just kind of laughing about it is not bad, full stop. This, th it's not a bad thing. It just means that what you said is funny because it is funny. I can't laugh, all right. <laughs> now, I would like to segue you into this next point that I wanted to bring up too. Let's say I watched a 21 year old vlogger, girl, goes to the gym, everything. If I said this exact comment, especially the part that says, I'm seeing an OnlyFans in your future, I hope you understand that this that could be taken as, as something very weird the comment alone is weird full stop like i said but yeah to put this notion out there that i'm making fun of like my viewers my supporters my commenters the people who admire me it, it's just bullshit so yeah for the people that like to comment you know whatever compliment hate whatever all good but a little side note if you're gonna write a hate comment make it funny all right but either way the next part of this uh, controversy is the fact that i made fun of autistic people i think this is a more serious thing so for the next part i would like to have serena join in to the conversation and talk to you guys why it's this whole thing shouldn't even be a controversy all right let me unlock you here there we go well here we go hello gang <laughs> wait <laughs> 
<laughs> There's like a, an award show. Right. For the second part of this video, our, no, I have no for, idea why I'm in here. Like, you didn't really give me that much information. No, with the whole autism thing. Oh, autism. Wait, one second. Oh, that thing? For the second part of the of the controversy, I guess, I have Serena themselves to uh, kind of talk about it because I feel like it's appropriate to come from Serena. So the part that um, the part that people did have a problem with... Dude, that's, that's Wait, people thought you were being mean to me? I didn't second, really understand Let me show the, the whole situation either. He just... Like, honestly, like, I would remember if I got offended, too. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, just the funniest yeah. part about yeah. this right now. Hold on, so okay. this is the exact clip that people did have a problem with. We'll still kinda... talk about it, because I yeah. do want people to, like, if I feel fine with it, that doesn't mean everybody else does. So, mm -hmm. like, I still want to, like, mm -hmm. address And, you know, I don't condone, obviously, making fun of random autistic people, but it, we know each other enough to, it's like, we know, like, the, the line. You have okay. autism? Keep up the great work. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying. Get well soon. <laughs> Get well soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have autism? Uh, that's the clip that people had a problem about. Um, because I'm autistic, my sarcasm does not land. So yeah, that's like me making a sarcastic joke of like a very real thing to the commenter or the person who commented this. Do you know that I have autism. To you, I might look high functioning, but in certain situations, I'm not. I can function this at this time, and sometimes I don't. So it looks like I'm having fun with my friends. Yeah, because I am. I feel comfortable with my friend. I feel comfortable with Paolo and my friend Destiny. Like I just do, or Aldwin, or um, no, DJ not, um, sixty six. DJ sixty six. Wait. What is the, X, X what is, what is, it might be like self-deprecating? So, yeah, self-deprecation, really, if you think about but, it, right? But it's like, I'm kidding, and it's like a joke. If it does cross that line, I feel like one of them would say something to me. Oh. Or like, when you said, are you autistic? It's just like, it's a joke. I also was very stoned in that video. <laughs> Under the evil. Of, um, not alcohol. There you go. Okay. But something that's legal for consumption in my state. Um... The great state of Minnesota. Last her middle name is Jane. Mary. If you know her, if you know her, yes. Okay, thank you very much. That's all I need to say, because right. I don't think that YouTube, YouTube YouTube would let me say. YouTube. Like, I, I've just been labeled as bipolar, and like, so my psychiatrist said, well, you're not, no, you're not an R word, basically. That's what yeah. he said to me. You're not stupid. And that's, yeah. that's like what gets me. That's I hope like this crazy. all makes sense. Not, because oh, he also said stupid? Yeah, like you're not that's stupid. Crazy. Like that's that's crazy. Oh, you know how many times that I've been called that Damn. word and Damn. stupid in my life, and I wow. had to sit there and be like, I was like, I felt like I was shaking, like nervous chihuahua getting like a bath or something. Like I you was were about so, to, like, I was about to, like, like I was like, if you ass. touch me, I will like bite you. Like I was but like so mad, but I was also so upset I couldn't say what I wanted to say. But I guess to go back to like the the comment, I mean, did I cross the line? No. No. Because I would have remembered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you don't even remember. There's your addressing of the controversy. I don't think there is a controversy. I don't think there is a controversy. I didn't even know about the controversy. Like, he was like, yeah, come in here and pull up a chair. Like, we're gonna, like, just talk about the thing. And I was like, completely forgot what the thing was, <laughs> to be honest. If it offended you, you probably would have quit by now. Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of, like, picketing and, like just like going at e at people like at their throats immediately if they mm. have an issue with something and it's i'm definitely not. feeding into that because i'm making a response but you know what it makes content out of it so well it makes content out of it but also like he genuinely does care <laughs> like yeah, otherwise i don't think i would be si i mean yeah no i wouldn't be sitting here if i just wouldn't make it for content i'd be like paulo mm. no i'm gonna leave i just feel <laughs> like i'm gonna go home now so like it's not yeah yeah i don't think it's that deep it's not that deep. Know. Okay, yeah. I guess while Serena's here, we're, um, actually, we wanted to, uh, I just want to tell you guys, we are actually going to make, like, a, like, a movie. That sounds we're off. We're going to make a documentary. Dude, that just registered in my brain. Yeah, my it's fault, like, it's fault, like documentary. Fault. We're going to make a documentary, and it's going to take months for us to do this. And, um, you know about color correction. You know, we, Editing. we know, we know skills that kind of, like, mold together for us to be able to make this movie and kind of like a documentary about um, my personal life. And you guys will get a deeper look into what I've been going through and you guys will see it. And it's it's gonna be some good stuff. But like I said, it'll be a while from now. It'll probably be in like episode 200 or something, who knows. We could do teasers. <coughs> Holy shit, yeah, we could do teasers. We're kind of like on the like process my, my of- My mind, my mind. We're on the process of making it right now. If you've seen Wholesome Simon, something like that. 
Yeah, yeah like like inspired by mm -hmm. and wholesome Simon, and I think because he's um, Asian too. I started talking to Paulo about this one creator I really like. I literally forgot her name. Um, the title doc is called what is it? Uh, the the trip that saved my life. Yeah, the trip that saved my life, and it's this girl who like went through something really bad. I'll just link it in the description below. I'll show you. Guys, I'll like leave it here the title of it, and I'll kind of show. Well, I might show you guys a clip of it, but yeah, it's gonna be something to do with that. And uh, you know a little bit about poetry. So. Yes. So it's it's going to be I a love, sick movie. Trust. It's going to be cool. It would be cool to... I'm literally bringing this up yeah. to you. Oh my god, it's like a, a double surprise bitch. Shit. I was going to try to do some animation. Oh, really? Like, okay. But like really short clips of it. I'm an artist. <laughs> Mm. Can you tell I have ADHD and autism because I have way too many special interests? Now you're cooking. Oh yeah. I'm the j that's jackass of all trades. Jackass of <laughs> all trades. That's the controversy. That's the announcement. We're going to be making a nice documentary. It's going to be all about me. It's going to be nothing like you guys have ever seen before. Um, in this channel specifically, so done. using using this using this camera, this nice ass yeah, this, this, this fucking be, nice ass camera. For I have something. to get a new lens for it, but you know it's all good. I fucking spilled water on it yesterday. Ben has a bunch of lenses. Does he, have, does, he have, does he have a Sony? It needs an adapter if he if he's got a Canon. Damn, I don't have an adapter. That's, that's a why problem. I, that's a problem because that's it's expensive. A Maybe you'll see me in a YouTube video, but I also or no, not YouTube video because I've been in them obviously, but like yeah, my own YouTube. Yeah. Because that's something I wanted to do. Once the announcement comes, I'll link it in the description. Oh, and by the way, just for the people that think that there is something going on, strictly platonic. Oh, yeah, y'all are weird. Just in case. Just this, just saying, um, y'all are a little weird about that. You know, it's it's the internet, so, you know, you never know, but cool friends. Stop being so straight. It, <laughs> damn. Like, don't think about, like, people ba banging the uglies together. You just, like, think normal. I'll tell the story some other time, but there was uh, two people that we met a couple of weeks ago that thought this exact thing that I, I'm like trying to repel from. Well, I'll talk about that one day. By the way, we're bros, gang. Bah. We should make a podcast one day, bro. I'm not even I know. Kidding. I got one more problem with you, girl. Hey. I want you. <laughs> Shame on you, uh, letting me fall down. I can lose. You're not with me now. You betrayed me, and I know that you never feel sorry for the way I hurt you. Yeah. But you're still a traitor. Just stop by the old house of Rue real quick and uh, grab some food. Don't you think I loved you too much to be used in this garden? Don't you think I loved you too much to think I deserve nothing? But don't tell me. I hope you're happy, but not like how you were with me. I'm selfish, I know. Bukas kaye wala ka na sa king isi Hindi mo ba naaalala ang mga kahapon O bakit kay sakit pa rin ang paglayo Wala ka man ngayon sa aking piling Nasasaktan man ang puso't damdamin Muling muli sa'yo na aaminin Puso ang mapapasya weather's nice, everything's nice, you know what I mean? Love it when the weather's just cooperative. I believe, if I'm correct, according to my, according to my research, <laughs> I believe this is my first time going to work with only a shorts and a shirt. 
That's a landmark. That's a, or, that's a milestone. That is a milestone. Bro, it's so weird. It's so weird because today, I of course, I wore, you know, shirts and a short, like I said. But Saturday, I, I was wearing like three layers and like a sweatpants. It's like, what happened? Like, I, I hope the weather stays this way. If not, then I don't know. I'm gonna be depressed. A little unnecessary. What do you get out of that, bro? Oh my god, dude, he's still going. He's still going. He's flooring it. You can hear that, man. And if you think that I'm still holding on to something, you should go and love yourself. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next part of this video, it's cooking time. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of tricks. For those of you that don't know how to slice up garlic and, and bell pepper, if you don't know, uh, you've come to the right place. Before you cut stuff up, you always want to make sure that the, the knife is sharp, otherwise the knife won't bark. That shit was bad. Make sure your knife is is nice and sharp, otherwise, you know, what the hell are you doing? If it ain't cutting, it ain't button. <laughs> For the sake of everyone, please do not put, uh, please, please don't include the, the, the shell, like, if oh, you're, do. you do? Yeah. Shit, sure. alright, we'll include the shell, make sure to get the outer shell out, cause, you know, it's a bit gross. Alright, now, so you got your, uh, you got your garlic peeled, the next step is the bit of, bit of, this is the fun one, you just, just line this up, oh, bro, my notification, oh, shut up, right here, rest it, bam. Just like that. Crush it. Make sure to take out the root because why Why do you want that? Then you can dice it even further because, you know, you're just a goat like that. And the key to this as well too, guys, is uh, you make sure you don't slice yourself. Otherwise, if you slice yourself, you're, you're not gonna like yourself. Alright kids, bell pepper time. Upside down. Slice around it. There we go. Perfect. I need to do the same thing on the other side right here. Make sure to go around the seeds. You don't you don't want the seeds in there. And then now since you see the since you see where the, the seeds are, you can just kind of work around it. It's 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 quite simple maths at this point. See now you got this and yeah, you can just throw it away. Easy dubs in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. And you slice it into strips. Once it's all cut into strips, you go right here and then Slice, 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 slice. See this right here, ladies and gentlemen? Sliced and diced to perfection. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, just had dinner. Uh, well, I'm not done yet, but apparently they're about to crown a new women's world champion. Oh boy, but you know, you guys have probably seen it, so uh, about to see the results. By the way, I'm gonna end the video now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Down to